Okay, so I got this engine here that's been giving me some trouble. I suspect, based on the lean condition, that I have some bad crank seals or maybe base gaskets. Something's leaning this thing out. So the test I'm going to do today is a leak down test. And all that means is I'm going to pressurize the crank case chamber and measure how much air leaks out over a certain amount of time. So before we can get started, I need to block off all of the inlets and outlets to that space. So the first one is the exhaust manifold. And for that, sorry, for that, I'm gonna use this guy. And this is just a test plug for plumbing. And so this is an expandable bladder here and you fill it up to 40 PSI and it'll take up the space in there. So let's do that first. There, that'll hold. Okay, on the carb side, we have to plug off the crankcase breather. And uh, for that, I just got a little bit of tube that I heated up and melted the end on and then squished with a pair of pliers, so that caps that off. And then for the carb, you can just use like a cap from a jar or something that fits this and clamp this down. I just made a little uh, 3D print that fits in there properly. And then I don't know if this is airtight, so I'm just gonna throw it in a nitrile glove, stick that in there and tighten this down. Okay, and the last place air can move in and out is through the spark plug holes. So I'll just leave one spark plug in, and this one I'm just going to get at bottom dead center. So I'm just going to pull on my rope until that stops moving. So now that that's at the bottom, I know that the ports to the crankcase are exposed. So I can put my little adapter hose on. This would be similar to what you get with a compression tester, but this came from my kit for leak down tester. So get that guy snug. So that one, everything's kind of capped off. Um, this is still exposed and we'll move on to the tester portion. Okay, so here's the leak down tester that I bought. This is designed for automotive applications where you're testing the leakage um, on the top end through the piston rings. Um, so that's why it goes up to 100 PSI. That's a lot more than we need. We're going to be kind of between 5 and 10. But luckily, this gauge, which is, it says it's measuring the, the percentage it's coming down from the set one, but it sets about 25. So it it's, it's, uh, has better resolution. So I've made a mark here where 6 PSI is. That's where I'll be testing at. But I had to make a modification to this because it just kind of tests... The difference in pressure but I want to stop it from from applying more and see how much it comes down so I had to add this uh, ball valve here in between the regulator and the gauge that's important if you build one of these out of just the components you'll need a regulator a gauge um, and this you can probably just build this to it just clips on to like a air hose style fitting the same one that you would have on your compression tester and then the, the valve just needs to be in between the regulator so that you can you can cap off the pressure so that the gauge is still under pressure and then you can see how much it leaks down so I'll hook this up and we'll get started okay so now that I have my air supply hooked up you can see we're uh, sitting at 6 psi now and this is uh, this is capped off so as soon as I plug it into the hose that goes the spark plug um, it'll take about I, I did this on my other motor and it took about four minutes for this to come back up to pressure and then I will cap this off and we'll see how fast it leaks back down or if it even gets up to pressure maybe the leaks bad enough that it doesn't get there at all so I can hook this up now and so you can see that that pressure dived down and it'll take a few minutes and it'll come back when it's back up to six. Okay, it's been about uh, three minutes and we've built up a bit of pressure here. 
We're almost at six, but I can I can hear the air leaking somewhere, so I know we have a leak. So the next thing I'll do is I will cap this off and see how fast it drops down. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go around with some soapy water and uh, just spray around and see if I can find any bubbles. Just uh, show you the gauges here. So yeah, still not quite back to where we started. So there's a bit of a leak somewhere. Oh yeah, I can already see it right here on my car boot. It's bubbling right there. There's a bit of a leak there. Okay, I don't see any leaks anywhere else. And I'm not convinced that this leak is big enough to cause this drop in pressure, but I will close this off and we'll come back in five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes and you can see we've lost pretty much all of our pressure. Now I tried this on another motor engine that I thought was good before, and even though it leaked in the same spot on this carb boot, it didn't drop any pressure, not, not uh, enough. To show up on the gauge so I still want to fix this little leak here but I'm guessing it's just leaking because it was under so much pressure but obviously we have a leak somewhere else so I think the next thing to do is to pull the motor out get the clutch and stator off so that we can see the crank seals and, and do the test again and just verify that that is where it's leaking from but I'm guessing it's one of the two seals so uh yeah so that's that's the, the basics of a leak down test just to see if it holds pressure and if it doesn't for you know I think I think ideally you're looking for like five to ten percent loss in that five minutes and we had a hundred percent so no good okay so I went ahead and put some grease behind this carb boot and that sealed up that leak and now if I put my head down here I can hear air whistling out this end, which tells me it must be coming out the uh, stator side um, crank seal, so mag side. So I got to pull this thing out and replace that. So there we go. I would say the leak down test was a success, and uh, I guess I'll do it again once the motor's out of the sled. Okay, so I got the engine on the bench. I got pressured up. And you can just hear the air whistling out of here. I mean, you can just see this residue here. That doesn't look great. That tells you it's probably leaking. But let's just zoom in here. Put a little spray on here. And what I think is the most interesting is it's not leaking around the shaft. It's leaking around the case. Which, that tells me it was a bad install. maybe yeah I don't know maybe you need to put some sealant around those either way pretty interesting okay I figured we should check the PTO side while we're doing this so I can do that and that's okay can't hear something so the air actually pushed the oil out of this oil line when I took this off here and it got a little crooked but uh, I guess you could cap those off too so I'll just have to make sure that I purge the oil pump for the first fire up there but yeah successful leak down test showed we had a problem unfortunately it was an unsuccessful seal install so that'll have to be redone thanks for watching